Hello everybody, welcome back to Power Court. Continuing our second attempt at the game, we got through the first floor without too many hiccups the first time round, and now we're going to go for the first time ever here into the second floor. Now, I had some comments about the uh, the volume of the, the narration versus the voices versus the music, so I've changed a few bits. If it's still not great or if there's still problems, do let me know in the comments. As for now, where are we going? We can get relics. We can get shopping and healing. Do we need the healing? No, we full healed after the new floor. One elite that way. Two elites this way. I'll take the one elite high road. And before getting there, I will take this run with shopping. We're back. All right. They've got a full squad. The furnace. When these scorching guitarists heat up their attacks, you're going to get burnt. The spike. Vengeful drummers that cover the demons in thorns to make sure you'll regret hitting them. The cleaner. Guitarists that screw with your plan by cleaning debuffs from other demons. All right, that's going to be a hoot, isn't it? Right, we can change out cards we don't necessarily want right now. They've got no buffs yet, so I don't need this stance. Otherwise, deal two damage three times to a random enemy. Deal four rage damage to a single enemy. I think that's fine. Excuse me. We will do that. Then... Where do we even want to be focusing? Heat charge, increase damage by plus one for each each heat for each heat charge. Nine damage at the back. Thorns. Add two thorns to ally band. Take damage when attacking this character for each stack of thorns. Build power. Take stance. Gain two power charges. Alright. Let's get poison going behind this guy with a lot of armor. Then I'm going to augment here. Do four damage three times to a random enemy. That's a pretty good result. Then six damage to them. And two damage to a random enemy. Not the one we needed. We may as well put this charge on somebody. You can have it there at the front. We've still got two energy left that we can't use. Right, so now everyone has two thorns. So we're going to get hit for two when we hit them. That's a problem. Your three damage to a single enemy and add two instability charges. Sunder, deal 7 damage to a single enemy and add 1 barrier charge to ally band on armor break. Alright, let's do that, hitting the guy at the back, because we will break their armor. We all get a barrier charge. That is sick. Uh, 1 damage twice here. Kills them. We get another barrier charge. Then with two energy left, let's dice roll. Uh, is it worth three damage dice rolling? Probably because we can put more stacks of poison on the guy in the center. Right, armor here. In fact, armor here barrier here and we're done All right we want to do five damage at the back deal six damage and heal your blood deal five damage and gain three charges that's very expensive though Stance, deal one damage to a random enemy each time an ally attacks. They've got no thorns left anymore, so... We'll stick that on. 
You're doing 12 damage here. That is a problem. That's a big problem. But very little we can do about it. Alright, let's do... 6 damage there. Oh, no, wait. If we break this 6, but they don't take health damage, will their stance go? Or do they have to take 1 health damage for the stance to be impacted? Okay, no, that went great. We block with some barrier charges. This guy's still ticking down poison reasonably nicely. Zero cost, deal 10 damage to a single random enemy. All right. Well, then let's, before we do that, augment the big guy. Increase the damage dealt per hit and decays by one per turn. So I can do... Three damage twice. Yeah. I can do nine damage here. I can put a barrier on... We don't need the barrier because this is going to break your shield and confuse you, right? Yes. Completed. Accumulate 10 power charges on Shinobi. Very nice. They're going to need some health, though. They are getting kind of wrecked. Their thorns are gone again. And... Is there any way we can get any health back? Doesn't look like it. But it's over. Choose a reward. Protective Ritual. Epic Stance. Stance prevents debuffs affecting Ally Band. Grim Shudder. Epic Attack. Deal 2 damage and add 3 instability to every enemy without armor. Ah. Prevents debuffs affecting Ally Band. It's kind of strong, but we already have a stance in Will Vampire. I don't think you can have two stances at once. We are about to go to a shop, so I'll take the extra cash. Oh no, that was a mistake, I think. Vaporization, support catalyst. Spread all corrosion and poison charges on a single target to enemy band. We have randomized energy, so we should have taken that three cost card because it could be randomized. Never mind, time for another brawl. Well, it's a... Uh, it's a powder keg. The Demolition. These bassists like to set explosives on your band to tear the stage down. Watch out for their self-destruct. They won't be taken alive. Right, stuff I don't need. It's actually pretty solid, really. I'm going to swap that out. We have 30... Hold on, we have 30 blood charges? Does that mean that this is going to heal them to full? No, it heals them up to four a time. Okay, good to know. Um, let's see here. What is this? Deals one damage per demolition charge when triggered. This performer is going to take four damage this turn. That's unideal. Dead man switch. Once under seven health, detonates all demolition charges on both bands. Demolition charge. Deals one damage per demolition charge when triggered. And this thing... Self-destruct after three rounds, doing six damage to the enemy band. Self-destruct after three rounds, doing six damage to the enemy band. Okay. Get this stance going. 
then this is random. Good. Hit that hard. Then, who's taking damage? You're taking four, you're taking two. Armor up here. Barrier there. That's got two turns left on it. Okay, dice roll is looking good. Crushing roar is looking great. In fact, we could just do nine here, although this will hurt our enemies when it goes off. We have four energy, but we can't play it all. Let's start here. Then dice roll. Great. When are you going down? Under seven health. So we want to do five. But you have ten charges. So. Ah. Oh. We killed them so fast, the charges never even got to go off. You love to see it. Vaporization, support catalyst, spread all corrosion and poison charges on a single enemy to enemy band. Recovering warding stance, heal one health on a random ally each time a card is exhausted. We need more poison cards to make this effective for its cost, so... I'm going to keep hoarding cash for this shop. Right. Defender, stance, gain four armor at the start of each turn and guard a single ally. Furious Cleave, deal two damage to the enemy band. Four cost, seems like so much. Tainted Collection, stance, alternate adding one corrosion or one poison charges to all enemies each time a card is added to your hand through an action. Disruption. Add four weakness charges to a single enemy. Spiked Shoulder. Starts power with three power charges and two instability charges. Samurai Strings. Add plus one corrosion charge on hit. Armor Breaker. Deal one plus one damage to enemies if they have armor. Alright. I'm going to give you a Samurai Sword for the Synergy. Is there a card I want to burn? I don't think so. I'll take Disruption. And let's take Armor Breaker. We will put it here. Start battle with three power charges. Increase the damage dealt. Instability. Reduce resistance to damage. Or, I assume, increase the damage received. Honestly, I think that'll be alright for Shinobi as well. We're going to cap them out. What does our golden item do? Band gear. Sprint shoes. Add one energy charge to a random ally at the start of each turn. Okay. Apparently there's three rewards to be received. I'm going to cap out Shinobi on this. And we're going to keep moving. Speaking of Shinobi, let's get you some healing. Question mark event. This again, you turn a corner and bump into Frizz. Oh, we're here again. Well, frack. I guess it didn't work. Time loops are more complicated than I thought. She's still convinced there's a scientific explanation for the time loop because magic doesn't exist and needs your help with an experiment. Trial 14C, step out of time. The band will start the next battle with three barrier charges each. Trial 1562, time skip. Skip next battle unless it is a boss. Oh, what is our next fight? Our next fight is an elite. 
we could skip it and go straight to one last fight before the boss or we could go into it with three barrier charges I'm gonna be cheeky I'm gonna skip the fight all you need to do is attach the electro to your forehead and another to your mumbles incoherently and you'll go from now to someone else it's easy you're pretty sure that if it was easy you wouldn't be the one with the electrodes in your mumbles incoherently then we can still get this treasure critical pick every fifth card this character plays will do direct health damage uh, I think it's gonna have to be you right the other guys just aren't outputting the damage we need to make that great More like Knights of the Retired Fist. Three former Knights of the Thunder Fist sit by a smoldering fire. They've given up after dying a few times defending the demon's attack. Why keep fighting if the day will be undone? You can take whatever you want and just leave it alone. Take a weapon, one of three cards. Take a Talisman of the Thunder Fist. Receive a random defensive gear item. Boar, take what you are owed. Pick from two epic cards of Boar. Leave them to their misery, take nothing. This is Boar, isn't it? The drummer. Let's take epic cards for Boar. Reverberations. Epic stance. Gain one energy at the start of each round. Intimidate. Add seven weakness charges to a single enemy. Give me reverberations. One extra energy sounds incredible. Right, are we skipping this? We are indeed. Take your rewards. Unstable Isotope. Add three instability charge to the attacker on the first health damage taken on a turn. I think that can go here. We have no cash for this shot. Back onto one more fight, and then we can get to the boss. Flying. The Bone Saw. Mad science singers that will make it hard to knock out the band by healing demons and removing your charges. The Mechanic. These backing singers have a stance for every song and follow up their band's attacks with improvements of their own. Right, I want to find my stance that offers me extra energy. There it is. So we're playing that. What is this? This performer is going to take 7 damage. Transferring status effects. This performer's status effects are going to be moved around this turn. I assume a stance isn't a status, but we'll find out. Uh, augment over here. Six damage three times. Let's do poison first. Because we can increase poison with attacks. That went well. Seven random damage, hopefully not to the front. All right. Barrier for here. So we have five energy to spend thanks to this stance. That is incredible. What is this lunchbox? Trinket kit, triage kit. At the start, heal one health on all allies that have no armor. This is gain eight armor when taking any stance. Okay. Deal seven damage and give one barrier charge if breaking armor. Add four weakness charges to a single enemy. It's going to be you. We have three energy left. Uh, 
And we can't get rid of your attack, but that's fine. Let's just go after the guy at the back. There's obviously going to be some much better order to prioritize everybody, and I just don't know it yet. Must remember the counts on these as well. Right, six damage. Let's get this stance going. Then... What are we doing? Heat charges, healing... Stances. Love to see it. Five armor or another stance. I'll take the stance. Possibly should have done the stance first, but you know. All right. Easy stuff, mate. Easy. Choose a reward. Discordant. Deal 10 damage to a single enemy and discard a random card. Deal 7 damage and add armor break. Give me Discordance. We want more big attacks for him because every fifth attack does direct damage. Give me another relic. Bind pick. All spells cause an extra hit for one damage to the same target. Also deals one damage to this character. I don't like it. I think it makes us too fragile. Yes. I'm skipping the pick. Last secret of the Thunderfist. Passing through an ally, alley, you notice brick in the wall has a sigil of Thunderfist carved into it. Would they do that if it didn't mean something? Four, reveal the last secret of the Thunder Fist. Take a spell card from the secret compartment. Final vestiges, rare stance, stance, destroyed barrier charges, grant two armor. I don't need this stance. I've got a better stance. I'm skipping it. Right. Healing, and then this weird demon rhino thing. What are you? Karna and the Bellow. In the former Grand Hall of the Thunderfist, Karna and the Bellow have stolen the stage. With earth-shattering earth roars and energy-draining lightning skills striking down on your band, you will have to decide if you can afford to let the Bellow free from Karna's order. It's a packed house and there's only one way to the tower. It is by crashing your way through a demonic audience of beasts and thieves. Oh boy. Jeez, a new challenger blocks your path. Car Karna. An electrifying basis that orders her beast into attacks and drains the energy from your band. If the bellow is defeated, she will cleanse any debuffs and armor up for the second set. The bellow, a massive vocal beast that attacks on its Karana's order. The bellow will shake off any debuffs and go into a sonic frenzy if left without its master. Well, this is hell. What do we want? Not this yet. Um, that's too expensive. Okay. When this character... Characters ally four, they cleanse all negative debuffs. When this character's ally falls, they cleanse all negative effects from themselves and gain 25 armor. Well, this is going to be a, a delicate balancing act, isn't it? We're not going to be able to armor break here. Let's start with this. At least the poison should tick up reasonably reliably because there's only two of them to hit. Also, we get the corrosion charges going. If 
then barriers. Gonna be here, I think, for now. Now, Red's fifth attack will do direct damage under armor, which is probably important. Okay, this is so expensive. Let's. Oh, we're gonna. We're not gonna survive long enough to get this stance going. Jeez. Well, we're not gonna do health damage on that. That's a problem. Oh, jeez. This is terrible. Twelve damage, five enraged charges. Do we knock you out of your thing? We do. That is incredibly important. Is this counting up or down? Well, this is highlighted in red, so I think it's counting down so this is this is on return damage to a single enemy and do a thing we need to get this armor changed there's no way our stances are going to last it's just so much damage Right, make you weaker because you are attacking in four spots. Then get light show going. Oh, this is now too expensive, you novice. Right, put that stance on anyway. This is I'm confused. I ruined it, I think. Shinobi's got problems. Yeah. It's a bad time. It's a real bad time. What are you doing? Cataclysm Command. Force actions. This enemy forces some allies to take certain actions this turn. Thorns charge. Take damage when attacking this character for each thorns. Right. Augment here. We can't break this armor. But we can draw blood. Then will this give me a barrier? It will. We're alive for a turn. That is a lot of rage. No cards to use it, of course. Armor up. Add weakness. It's not enough. We can do 15 damage here. That's not going to be enough. Cleanse status effects and healing. This is enough to wreck red, which is its own problem. They take additional damage because of the bombs. Okay, they're down, but it's not helping our cause over here. We're not going to get to use this 49 rage to our advantage. How? 
How do you ever begin to defend against this? Put weakness on. And we're going to get wrecked, right? Completely wrecked. All right, another show over. This won't work if you're dead. You're starting today over. Again. You're going to take another run at the tower. Yeah. If you're going to keep dying, then I'll rewind the day as many times as I have to. Understood. You're not allowed to stay dead as long as the demons are out there. I can't skip this bit. I won't let you. Any more unlocks? Anything special? Introducing Roxy Cleaver, the Riot Gladiator. Shattering Chisel, attack, deal five damage to a single enemy, plus one for every two stone charges. Fossilize, add two armor to ally band and add plus one for every four stone charges, does not consume charges. Obsidian Chisel, gain one stone charge for each armor granted by this character. In Rage, Rare Support, convert three Rage Charges into two Power Charges for a single ally. Alright, we're going to have to keep working on our skills if we're going to amass the force we need to defeat Hell. But for now, thank you very much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any issues with the audio balances or anything, let me know. I will continue to try and manipulate it as necessary. For now though, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.